to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water P-Dubs. We love this shit. So if you're listening to this, we know that you guys have to like to have a good time. We found the perfect drink for any occasion. It's Pirate Water. It comes in four delicious flavors. We have Bahama Mama, Miami Vice, Sex on the Beach, and Margarita. So if you haven't tried it yet, don't know what you're waiting for. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. Get you fucked up under $2. It's the best drink. It's the drink of the summer. Super easy. They're they're rolling out everywhere. So if you haven't tried it yet, there's probably one near you. Uh, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find it, or you can order it on GoPuff. So make sure to check it out we're drinking pirate water all summer long i want you guys to be drinking it with us let's get into the episode what's up my degenerates welcome back to another episode of plan brie uncut it's been a while for About us two weeks. personally yeah because we recorded our last episode before we went to florida yeah so it's been a while man it feels like we haven't been sitting in this booth for a little bit oh my god on the hot seat i know under all the flashing lights and cameras oh my god the paparazzi are vacation's over honey i fucking know and it's time to settle back in and buckle down yeah i think <laughs> What? Because <laughs> we got to ride. We got to ride. We got to ride. It's summer. Did you know that? Summer? Yeah. It's in not New- spring anymore? In New York City, it's summer. Dude, I go. So my, my playlist on Spotify there, mm-hmm. seasonally. Okay. Spring went by so quick. I think I only have five songs on my spring playlist. Wait, you have a seasonal list for every season? Yeah. Every season. Yeah. I, I think of songs in season. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So season- what are the cold like, songs like? The cold songs. Oh, God. This playlist is tough. Why wouldn't you want to feel happy, though? Leaves. What's, uh, my fall one was called Leaves Turning. Um, oh, I gotta. I just got to say real quick. Okay. Go and ahead. then my winter up. one was called Not So Scary Winter because, like, last winter was really scary. Yeah. And this, this winter was not that scary, no, really. No, it wasn't. Like, it um, my fall one was called Leaves Falling and Turning. That's oh. silly. <laughs> and then, um, That's so poetic. I know. And then Not So Scary Winter. And then we had... Um, Spring Tang. Ooh. And then uh, this one's going to be Silly Summer Shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm so creative and lovely. I think we could workshop Silly Summer Shit. No, Silly Summer Shit. No tea. Oh, that's worse, Grace. <laughs> Come on. Come on, that's middle school. I'm having a lot of fun. Come on, let's <laughs> let's fix it right now. Let's make it good. So this summer's going to be better. Um, No, I really like that playlist Silly name. Summer Shit? <laughs> shit. That's like Maggie O'Malley. I know, it's like funny. It's like ironic. <laughs> but it's not for you. You mean it. Um. <laughs> Silly summer shit. We shit, own it. Shit. You should make shirts that say silly summer shit. <laughs> when you say it like that. Are you little... still on drugs? No, I'm just really happy. <laughs> I think you're tired or something. Your eyes won't open. I'm open. I'm open to anything. Okay. Any and all. Perfect. So let's start back in Florida. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So before we left, mm-hmm. I almost killed myself. <laughs> yeah. It was a bad day. You? I would think I was happy. You were happy? It came back opposite effect. Well, we did not want to go. We to didn't Florida. want to go to Florida at all, which was fair because we were traveling for. We just came back from Vegas. Yeah, and like Vegas, you need at least a week to recover. And we went. We didn't. We had three days in this big old city. Yep. And then we went right to Florida, uh-huh. and we were supposed to go from Florida to the big van trip. Mm-hmm. And thank fucking god we canceled that. Well, thank god we canceled the van trip because I would have died. Yeah. On the van trip, and you would have went to jail. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's a whole other <laughs> thing. But no, we went to Florida, and we were pretty. Actually, after we recorded, we were ready to go. Yeah, actually, yeah. We were up. We were bumping. Yeah. We, were, we were bumping. Wait, was... <laughs> did we see Nicki Minaj... Yes! At that airport? We saw Nicki Minaj at that... No, we saw no, Nicki we Minaj on the way to Vegas. We're getting our timelines fucked up. Oh, we're in Florida. Yeah. <gasps> Florida. Yes. Florida. <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering. We went to Florida, and we got wasted before we got on the flight. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Big time wasted. Because we were five hours early to the airport. We thought we were going to be late. Where did we go? To Newark. What do you mean, where did we go? We went to I Florida. know, but like, oh, oh, yes. And we got big time wasted. We got big time wasted. And then we went on the flight. And then we landed. And then it was just all fun in the fucking sun. It was awesome, dude. It was so needed. I actually haven't been on vacation since I moved to New York City. Yeah. Like a real vacation where no, not, there's nothing planned. Yeah, but we said that we were going to go pretty chilled out yeah you guys <laughs> know that we can't do that I mean, we couldn't even chill when we tried to chill we're walking contradictions of our own selves so where, where did the crazy stuff begin okay so we went on a boat for our well, friend's birthday first we went to met up with them at dinner for our yeah. friend's birthday's dinner yeah and shrooms were being passed around oh yeah we could not stop giggle festing. no they weren't being pa- we literally sat down for dinner we got there first of all we went to the wrong Rocco's tacos i guess there's a million Rocco's tacos it's a big chain and flow so we went to the wrong Rocco's tacos then we had to go to boca we get there they're all eating dinner the second we sit down someone hands us shrooms yep it's not us it's people not think us. it's us and we're the problem it's like i was talking and i went right in my mouth i know like, we didn't even have time to eat dinner i did not eat dinner no we didn't so we got shrooms. Then I don't we started even think my drinking. first drink came out. No, it didn't. Neither of them did. We had shrooms for dinner. 
We had shrooms for dinner. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> that's we just were kind of shrooming around that night. It wasn't too crazy. Yeah, it was just silly. We were just a little silly. We went to dinner and then we went to another bar. But we were at these bars where it was like, it was like old school. Like everyone was like 45. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just like, woo. <laughs> like this is fun. <laughs> yeah. We had a freaking uh, airport clothes on. We looked pretty gross. Oh, yeah. Pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty nasty. And then we were just meeting all these people. And uh, uh, no one really looked real to me. Yeah. No. Everyone was so make believe. Yeah. It was there was crazy. one guy who was actually genuinely upset about the little mermaid oh that was crazy i couldn't believe my fucking ears it, i thought I said, he was are kidding are you crazy i was like are you joke you're joking right and he's like no it's just like who the, the little mermaid is not black i'm like god dare you it what was, the hell is wrong with you it was so <laughs> insane and i felt bad for his wife mm. because she wasn't agreeing but she had yeah. to agree and i was like this is weird i'm gonna freak out i'm having a freak out panic attack right now i'm freaking out man and that guy was so big he was so tall and i was like dude you're a monster he was a bad guy <laughs> he was a monster and then i couldn't mask it so every time he talked i'd be like oh this again man <laughs> oh, and <he's>, really? <laughs> so blatantly just like fucking you again because uh, what oh, yeah, i mean it was the worst he was the worst and he just kept coming over trying to talk and i'm like dude stop talking to me he's like why do you hate me i am a good guy i'm good guy i swear i just hate black people i'm like dude what the fuck that's not a good guy it was so it was so crazy it dude. was bizarre and if you have to say i'm a good guy you don't you're totally not a good guy how many times do i have to say it also what were we saying couples that beg to go on double dates no not that that was but, a, that but was couple, another thing but couples that beg to go on double dates having a bad time in their relationship they're having a hard time <laughs> in their relationship if you have to beg to go with another couple on on a date you you hate each other i get the one time you can maybe go on a double yeah, date no, that's what, but begging if you can't be alone with your significant <laughs> other hands and knees. i think you got a problem on you your hands problem <laughs> that's called a you problem that's man. All you. but we were also saying if you have to say what were we saying if something's so good you don't have to like Oh, yeah. If, like, if people are telling you, like, dude, you got to come. Like, would yeah. you, dude, get here quick. Come on. <laughs> it's not fun. You're not having fun. If you're begging for backup and recall. <laughs> you cannot be having fun. Yeah. There was something else like that. But, like, if you have to, like, re- if you have to really sell someone on something. Yes. Then that's it's, all it is. Then it's not as good as it seems. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just have to be, like, come for yourself and see. Yeah. But if you really have to lay your life on the line to, like, be like, this is something cool, <laughs> yeah. it's probably not that cool. And, like, if you're... You're out. And this is separate from the Florida thing. No, this is separate. This yeah. is something we realized. We took a lot of shrimp, so we were realizing a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were just like, dude, like, when you're having fun, you're not on your phone. You're not begging. Oh. You're not begging the next person. Dude, you know what I was also thinking? What? Everyone's posting, like, all their, like, lifestyle, all these, like, day in my life's doing all this shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm having too much fun to even record the shit. Yes. It's so fucked. Dude, I'm like, if, if we recorded this shit and posted it, bangers, but I'm having too much fun to take my goddamn phone out. I know. And then if I am taking a video, it's ridiculous. It's so bad. It's something I cannot post. Yeah, it's so bad. I won't even look back and watch them because it's just me flipping the camera around saying, I'm having so much fun. And then I put know. it down. I know. It's so bad. I'm like, I'm seeing all these people po- posting these like glamorous, this is what I did. And I'm like, eh, you know what? You didn't have that too much fun. You didn't have fun. You planned that video out. Yeah, you planned it all out. It wasn't that too much fun because uh, you took your phone out a lot. And you weren't having the fun because you planned it all and I bet for the video. You're on a double date. Life. Yeah, and I bet they were on a double date. And I bet they were begging more couples to come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was separate. But anyway, that, that was our first night on shrimps. Yes. And it was fine. Then we chilled. And we were like, oh, let's go to bed so we could wake up early and then fucking go on the boat. Go on the boat. The next day was the boat day. Yes. And it was a long day, Grace. It was a long day. Wow. Oh, my God. It's wow. The <laughs> it's day. the longest day of all. It is the silliest <laughs> day. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. So uh, it was a friend's birthday, and she invited all of her friends and her boyfriend's friends onto a boat, and then me and Grace really didn't know anybody. We didn't know a single soul. We just came in for the vibes. We came in for the vibes and the birthday. <laughs> and uh, we had so much fun, but we went on this boat, and we said to ourselves, oh, we're not going to, we're going to just, because the night before, the shrooms were a little weird, so we're yeah. like, we're just going to get old school wasted yeah and that was the plan that was always the plan it's always the plan it's always the plan and then all of a sudden you open your mouth and you're chewing on chocolate yeah <laughs> i mean jesus like i said we're not the problem we're not the problem <laughs> but we had so much fun we went out to like this uh oh fuck i forget what it's called it's called something An inlet? boca no it like oh. has a name oh. but we went out to this fun place in boca where all these boats like park up and then you can just jump out and swim it was awesome and then we had one of those you when you rent a boat, you gotta have one of those pads. The like lily pad, the things. lily pads where you just like chilling and laying. 
Yeah. I was sinking on it. Oh, it was so fun. We were all playing on that. We were well, all there was like 25 people, and it was just like so much fun. Two boats tied up together. Oh, old school classic fun on the beach. Listening to freaking country music, loving oh, it. Honestly, loved it. Loving it. Except for the ride home. Oh, that we'll was too to much that. twine. <laughs> yeah, that was way too much twine for me. Wait, didn't uh, Tommy Smokes call Pussy Twine? He sure did. Yeah, he gets that twine. <laughs> that's that twine. Uh-huh. That twine and that twang. Uh-huh. Twangy twine. <laughs> and that's a country rock star. <laughs> uh-huh. That's Tommy Smokes for you now. Yeah. Uh, but no, we were having so much fun. And then we were like, ah, let's not take shrooms mm-hmm. because we're about to go back. Yeah. And then we're on our way back. We had the best, most fun, fun day on boat day. Nothing crazy happened. We were just swimming and enjoying our company. Yeah, it was good. We hadn't taken shrooms, though, while we were swimming. But just a little. Just a tiny bit. And it was magical. It was awesome. It was magical. The water. We just kept looking at each other saying, dude, look at the water. (laughs) It's freaking sick. There was pine trees there. I'm like, dude, we're we're not in Tahoe. What's going on? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. It was confusing. But we took a little shrooms, and then everyone was eating more. And I'm like, Grace, we shouldn't, because when we get off the boat is when they're going to hit. Yeah. So we're like, all right, we're not going to. Then we start getting on a ro- boat ride back. They start passing them around again. So we shovel them down our throats. <laughs> Shoving them down our throats. <laughs> we'll, 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 here's the thing. We look at each other. We go, no, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> we're just not doing it, because we just said we're not doing it. And then we said, we're on Let's vacation. <laughs> So then we said, we're on vacation. Let's do it. And it's like a 40-minute boat ride back because you have to go slow because of the wake zone. Mm-hmm. So they don't hit us until we get off the boat. And oh, then- here's the other thing. Uh-huh. We asked, should we bring should we bring more beers? Yeah. Beers ran out in 20 minutes. Yeah, everyone So should- that's why we had to start taking trips. Yeah. <laughs> and when we get off the boat, everyone's like, all right, we got to go change into our dresses. It's dinner time. We did not know about the dress code and the dresses. We didn't know that we were going to dinner immediate, literally immediately from the boat. We were still in our bikinis. Yeah. So we go to the bathroom and then everyone's changing into their dresses. That bathroom was made for shrooms. That's when our shrooms hit. Yeah. And then we get in there and we're like, oh my God, Grace. I, I said, oh my God, Grace, we can't go to dinner. Yeah. And also I said, look at us. Everyone has beautiful gowns on. We can't go to dinner. Yeah, all, the, all the women, they're changing into their lovely gowns and we're just in the bathroom freaking out saying, we don't have a change of clothes. Soaking wet. <laughs> Soaking, sopping wet. So what did we do? We slipped out. We slipped out. We said, oh, we're going to go to the hotel, change real quick, and yeah. we'll, we'll meet you at dinner. And then, well, we, that was actually kind of the plan. We got lost on foot. We got lost on foot. We got lost on foot. We were in Barbie land. What we, do you expect? We were in Barbie land. We're walking around saying, wow, we're in Barbie land. And then I looked down at my phone, and it's calling Hannah, and it's <laughs> on the phone for three minutes. And I'm like, oh, my God, she probably thinks something so bad is wrong. She did think something so bad was wrong, because we don't call Hannah unless there's trouble. A phone call? No. On the Memorial Day weekend? No. Well, text Come only. On. No. And she calls back or texts immediately. She's like, what the fuck is wrong? Are you guys okay? And I was like, I don't even think I answered because I couldn't. <laughs> you should call me. And I was okay. like, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> she thought one of us died. <laughs> but uh, we left her a voicemail for three minutes and we tried to listen to it. You guys can't really hear it. We're going to play it on the pod, but it's just us cracking up. I wish, I wish to God you could get some clarity on that. We're just going, we're really in Barbie funny. town. We're just Barbie land. Oh, should we get it? Should we go get to dinner? <laughs> oh, you won't let us in? Oh, well. Yeah, we went to a lot of places. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got turned down a lot. Remember when I got swarmed by the 12 year olds? Those were evil little bitches. It was okay. so scary. They were like these rich 12 year olds and they were like, oh my God. And they're, they're they like, get a picture with me. They're like, picture now. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay, okay sure. And then they, I was like pushing me. I'm like, here, hover. I was so scared. <laughs> I just sacrificed you to the 12 year old women. So scared of those 12 year olds. They were all wearing such pretty white dresses. <laughs> they just, they just, it just had it going on. Yeah, and I did not have it going on. I was like, you guys are actually my devil hell right now. We were naked Barbies. Yeah, and then we got denied a couple places because, yeah. uh, well, we didn't get denied. The wait was too long. We could not wait. Yeah, no. So then we found Tin Roof. But at that moment, mm-hmm. Tin Roof was a country. It was just a bunch of country hick men. Mm-hmm. It was like they have um themes, like they have nights. Yeah, we learned that. Yeah, so it was, uh, I don't know what kind of night it was. Yeah, it was, uh, it was it had to be country night yeah country country couples night country couples nights and camo only can wear mm-hmm. she could have won <laughs> why oh because my pants yeah um but we we went there and then we got glued to the chairs glued to the chairs oh, and um we watched two skeletons drift away into a beautiful magic heaven <laughs> i wish i could 
explain it more, but yeah. And it was just like, this, uh, <laughs> it was an elderly couple that was like, literally, like, they just started ashing away. Like, they were already going into their own ashes. They were two bags of bones. <laughs> In they love. just were. And but were we saw like, them the next day on the beach and they weren't. They were not bags of bones. It they, was the they, drugs. They, but, but no, I think they just had a meal. <laughs> oh, they were starving. <laughs> they were starving. No, but I never seen people dance so happy. And, and it was so it was adorable. Awesome to watch. And the, the woman, she's a brittle bag of bones. And she, she goes down and he like barely catches her. It was crazy. <laughs> it was and you know what was the most fucked up part about it? So we're at this bar. We can't drink because we were just like, you can't drink when you're like doing that. And people kept coming up to us. We looked so creepy because we're just sitting at just this bar holding our onto the railing. Like I literally <laughs> felt like I was on a roller coaster. And we were sitting there for like maybe two and a half hours just, just looking like around. Just like, man, are you having fun? Yeah, Grace, are you having fun? <laughs> just laughing. People kept coming up to us, giving us shots. And we're like, no thanks. We saw the craziest bride to be. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There was a lot of crazy stuff, okay? And anyways, then we realized, dude, we have to go be at this birthday dinner. Oh, yeah. We realized we had made a mistake by leaving. We were like, shit, we're in trouble, I think. We were like, we're bad friends. We have to go to this birthday dinner. But we got really, we got, we got lost both mentally and physically. Yeah. <laughs> and then we said, round up the troops, because mm-hmm. that's my best friend. Mm-hmm. And that's when. That's when it all began. <laughs> dude, we, we went, it was like probably a 20 minute walk. And we were prancing through the town. We have no clothes on. We're prancing through the town. Everyone we passed, we go, hey, hey you want to hear something? That's my best friend. I'm like, oh my, yeah, that's my best friend. <laughs> we would just go up to everyone and we were like that. spinning around in circles saying, oh, that's my best friend. Yeah, so we twirled into the restaurant and we were like, the best friends are here for dinner. And it was amazing. The Celtics were on. And we were awesome. like, let's have some They were bringing out the cake. We said, oh, we didn't even miss the cake. Because that's my best friend. Yeah, that's, that's my best friend. And we made it. And it was great. And we were there for our birthday queen. Yes. And then we said, this night is not over, ladies and Absolutely gentlemen. Absolutely fucking not. So we're going back to the swimming pool. <laughs> and we went back to the swimming pool. Well, before we went to the swimming pool, we ate some mushrooms. <laughs> No, we ate them at the swimming pool. Oh. And before we went to the swimming pool, oh, we nice. thought the gay waiter was trying to fuck you. Mm, he was not. He was gay. We, <laughs> but we were like, oh my God, he's so being so he sweet kept, to me. He kept, he kept calling, calling me queen. queen. Obviously. Like, I mean, not obviously, but like for the most part, he's probably gay if he's calling me queen and queen like this. So it's like, <laughs> and was I was gay. like, Brianna, I think he wants to fuck And I was like, wait, yeah, he does. He keeps calling you queen. <laughs> and then the more we, we looked was, into it, I mean, he was gay. Yeah. Like, we thought he only brought me a drink. Brian. But <laughs> we want a drink. I'm like, oh my God, Brianna. I, I was like, literally his queen. I was like, dude, Grace, he wants you so bad. Go talk to him. I'm like, this is awesome. I'm like, I'm like wait, we're sharing a room. What are we going to do about I that? I was like, I'll just go out. St- I'll go downstairs and I'll just lay in the pool. It's midnight. <laughs> dude, he said one word to me. And I was like, wow, it's all up. And I was like, this is awesome, Grace. This is great. You're going to have a husband now. So delusional. And then it was so funny the next day realizing he was gay. <laughs> But the, anyway, so then we went to our friend's pool, mm-hmm. and uh, first we get up to the house. We mm-hmm. put our we already had our bikinis on. No one else did. They had their dresses on. Yes, we had our bikinis. On. We already had our bikinis on. So they're getting changed, and we open the fridge, mm. and there's the which shrimp. I feel really rather strange about that. <laughs> I I realized the next day I was like I just went into their house and opened the fridge. That's what you what you first did, because I asked where the shrooms and she said the I fridge. Just opened the fridge oh you were just starving I was looking for a drink oh. to calm the shrooms down okay <laughs> but they didn't they were over almost not for grace <laughs> <laughs> okay well yeah so grace ransacked the fridge for a drink and then it was we, not any we found more so shrooms I settled for shrooms <laughs> and um we took okay these shrooms were the craziest things he gets them from like colorado from this crazy dude and we took they're no joke more than we ever have the whole entire trip right yeah. then and we were like, it's going to be awesome. We're going to be swimming. We're going to be having fun because they have a pool. And we're all, there was like 10 of us all having some fun, having mm-hmm. a blast. And we we're not the only ones taking the shrooms. Yeah. We took the most though. We and did. we took the most. And then me and you, we went down to the ocean first. Oh, this is the other thing that we have to do, um, put out there. What? It was couples land. It was a couples retreat. Yeah. It was couples so and the best friends. So it was friend. just, the, the, that's my best friend and all the couples. Yeah. So, and, and not just couples, married couples. Yeah, they were all married. They all, had the fingers and the rocks. They had the rocks and the fingers. And the babies <laughs> at home with the nannies. Yes. Besides that one devil guy. He was the devil. 
I can't even. I don't <laughs> want to talk about him because I can't. There actually, was this one guy who just wouldn't stop staring at Brianna's tits in her bikini, Ugh. and he was just like every time we looked, he was panting like he was a bulldog. <laughs> ah, he was like <laughs> picturing. We're it. Like, are you serious? And it was probably the shrooms, <laughs> but no, he was, was before, and was it was the night control. before. He was a scary. Guy. He was out of control, and he oh. wore those crazy racing freaking sunglasses. <laughs> I like then again, I had to say to him, I can't talk to you. <laughs> like you are scaring it's me. Like what? Are, what did I do? I'm like, I can't talk to you. You have been staring all day brother uh, just something. at one point I, I go oh my god and brianna goes wait am i being crazy or is he literally staring at my nipples <laughs> it was really scary <laughs> it was crazy. um anyways that guy was there but it was all couples <laughs> and us and that guy <laughs> yes <laughs> and then we so first we went down and we run into the ocean no we ran into that ocean it was black dark and magical oh, mythical I oh know. it was nothing but the moonlight on the freaking glass ocean floor it was so cool <laughs> it was awesome and then fearless we were, we were. yeah fearless all trip clearly uh, <laughs> um and then we went back into the pool and we just swam our asses away and we're like we were just drunk at this time we're like oh the shrooms aren't really working yeah because we ate a bunch and we were we were just swimming like little kids in the deep end obviously probably yeah yeah but then um an elderly man on a on a freaking golf cart yeah. came over and was like hey you guys gotta get out of this friggin' pool and he didn't even bear to stay to watch us get out he was so tired and old <laughs> he was so exhausted it was exhausted. His ashes were burning to the ground. I know. So we got out of the pool. We we're so cold. And we get upstairs. We're waiting for our Uber. And we look at each other and we go, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did we make a mistake? That was like crazy. Room not planned. Uh, and we saw the whole 10 hours ahead of us after this. And it's midnight. When we got... It, dude, it wasn't even midnight yet. Oh, God. That was like the craziest part. Oh, God. Seriously. This is like, after the whole boat day, the whole getting stuck in our chairs at Tin Roof, the whole dinner, the whole pool. And we still have a whole night like ahead of us. It was like 10.30. I was like, no no friggin' way. Wow. It was nuts, bro. That's, that's crazy. It was really nuts. And then we, we got back into their apartment, uh -huh. and it was 42 degrees inside the apartment. I yeah. didn't even know it could get that. Way. That's what those stories so do. Shipperman tripping ball sacks <laughs> saying we gotta figure out a way out of here and who picked us up the spaceship man the spaceship man it was magic <laughs> it was, wow we sound ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> it's like a movie when you know when you watch movies and you're like there's no way that's what drugs are like <laughs> like yeah i guess it is <laughs> i wonder if i have a video of the spaceship land and see if it really looked like spaceship land well yeah okay we got in this car and he had, it was decked out with all these lights which is like dude what are you doing what are you trying to do to us here yeah dude i was like this is either gonna be awesome or horrific and then we get dropped off it was amazing it was a freaking spaceship dude he was literally the guy from um lilo and stitch with the all the eyes and the yeah i just saw him as a i just saw him as a a figure. I didn't really see his face. You saw him more than me. I was behind him. Oh, uh, let me see if I got this guy. I feel like you didn't take your phone out. Mm, you might be correct. We didn't Maybe look at our correct. We didn't look at our we phones. We didn't look at our phones because guess what? We were having too much freaking fun. Yeah. So we get out of the spaceship and we go upstairs and we're like, we're like, we can't. We have to be outside. We can't be in that freaking <sighs> hotel room. But that's when bad bad things hit your stomach. Bad things hit my stomach. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I totally forgot. So we went up to the freaking, I said, I have to go to the bathroom. Uh -huh. And so I said, Brianna, you, it's going to be a minute because I feel it and it's, and it's not cool. So Something really bad is happening. And in at there. this point I was holding my pee for, oh, here's where the kidney stones happen. I guess. Oh my God. I was holding my pee for fucking already three hours. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, there it is. There it is. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Well, so Brianna went out to the balcony, which was, Yay big. Uh -huh. And so she had to sit crisscross applesauce, I believe. Okay, so I went out to the balcony, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm going to have to pee on this balcony. And then, all of a sudden, they said, the world just said, <laughs> <laughs> the world said, sit, you are the concrete. <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I sat down, and uh, they were like... <laughs> I've never talked to the world like this in my head. Dude, the trees were beautiful. <laughs> Everything was beautiful. And there was this little rabbit dude that was just like, you're fine. You don't have to pee. You are the concrete. So I sit down and I just become one with the world. And I was like, oh, I don't need to pee anymore. And then I sat out there and I just became the world. Wow. The concrete. You were going through hell. Yeah, so she had a peaceful <laughs> outside experience where I was in the bathroom. And I know it sounds crazy, but I was a white rabbit. <laughs> 
I was the figure of a white rabbit. I couldn't see it, but I just knew, oh, fuck, I'm a white rabbit. And the, they had me in a cycle of shitting, getting up, wiping, shitting, getting up, wiping. It was like <laughs> this endless circle that they wouldn't let me stop. Yeah. And I was how. like, and I kept screaming, no, guys, please, can it be over? Please, I don't want to be a rabbit that shits all the time. <laughs> and I'm just out there saying, I'm concrete. <laughs> I'm concrete. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, oh, wow, I'm the ground. <laughs> like, I felt it. I felt being part of the ground, it was the best feeling ever. <laughs> and I was just watching people walk their dogs. I'm like, Are you guys I have no idea I'm the ground. <laughs> you guys have no idea. And I hear Grace screaming in the <laughs> background. Screaming, I'm like, please, will it ever end? <laughs> and, and then we met back up, and to our absolute shock, we both were white rabbits and saw white rabbits. Are mm-hmm. you joking? That was crazy. That was a weird coincidence. And then we said we got to get outside. It was when we went outside. And then we just sat outside for a while, mm-hmm. a really long time. And we didn't really even talk to each other. We were just in our own little worlds. Yeah, we were just sitting outside enjoying the nature it was mm-hmm. beautiful and gorgeous palm trees let me tell you on shrooms those are really good guys yeah the sound of palm trees is just beautiful no matter what yeah um but then i got freezing to my core and yeah, i had to go stop being freezing I'm so, oh freezing so i had to go upstairs and stop being freezing and grace went to the beach i went to the beach and you know what i went to the beach because my the earth <laughs> the universe told me that um if i go to the beach and I take off all my clothes <laughs> and I go into the ocean. I'll stop caring what other people think. <laughs> Not the case. Yeah. <laughs> I stood on the shore. Well, first I, w- I was lying down on a beach chair, listening to Lana Del Rey saying, she knows exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. This bitch is fucking, she's the boss. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're watching I'm her. upstairs <laughs> watching her live set in Brazil. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I'm saying she's the best thing that's ever walked the earth. <laughs> And I then I stood on the, the I was like literally at the shore just like just fucking do it you pussy and just like you got to stop caring what people think and you just have to do this and I was like ah I want to really be able to do this by myself but I gotta phone a friend <laughs> who's that friend and that's my best friend and so I call her and she's like yeah just fucking do it. it seems like you really just have to do this for yourself she was like <laughs> I think I have to go in this water like I've got to take my clothes off like for me dude and I'm like. <laughs> all right bro like is anyone around she's like nah i'm like all right do it man you got this like if you need this it seems like you really need this let's go you got this and, and you went in and you left me on the phone in the mm-hmm. sand and i'm just hearing the waves crash i'm like okay i hope she comes back soon mm-hmm. and she came back literally 0.5 seconds later i was too scared i was too scared to be alone and naked and outside in the wood because obviously yeah obviously that's terrifying obviously i mean she's on a bad list somewhere she's a pedophile i'm a bad guy uh-huh. <laughs> but so are you mm-hmm. and that's tomorrow mm-hmm. but we get back and we yeah. gotta change my life because she has all the answers. I don't know if you guys understand she has all the answers. That's, all, that's all it is. I have all the answers. I have all the answers. She just has all the answers and she changed yeah. my life. So, yeah. That's that. That's my best friend. And then the next day was Celtics Day. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we <laughs> slept. Well, we didn't go to bed until because I had to change Grace's life until <laughs> six in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> and then uh, by the time our life was changed, the sun was coming up. You are better than the ocean. <laughs> you <laughs> are my ocean. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are my waves. And we wake up. Uh, we honestly didn't really sleep that much. I thought we were going to sleep longer. We woke up at like 11. We could not sleep. And we immediately got after it yeah we well we just we just woke up and was like no we woke up and i said we need a golf cart i'm yeah. gonna call a golf cart service right now and we just had a golf cart we had a golf cart at our door in five minutes delivered it chad dude he with was with this coolest. baby in the fucking thing he was the coolest man coolest dude only 167 bucks he owns a golf cart service for two days we had that bitch and he just rocks it was cool and then he delivered it and we said okay we're gonna have the best day of our lives we're on a fucking vacation there was a speaker in that bitch oh my god it was so fun driving grace i want to go back it was electric oh you're going back i am going back with your mom that's gonna be so fun i know i'm oh. very excited Excited. Okay, so we got this golf cart. We started driving around town. We just we just wanted to go for a cruise. Yeah. So we were cruising and cruising and cruising, and it's nice because we weren't hungover because mm-hmm. we didn't really we didn't drink. No. For a while. No, we barely drank we the barely day before. Drank. Honestly, we we're just shrooming out, and our brains were a little broken, but. We went, we got some food. Better than usual, though. Yeah, honestly. Like, rally season was all the way up. Yeah, it was pretty rally season, because seas were supposed to be up. Seas were supposed to be up. So. We were all excited for the Celtics. We got matching outfits. Yeah, we went to lunch. We were like... We got to get matching over for the Celtics, obviously. Obviously. We went to like a bunch of bars. We we're just freaking having so much freaking fun. It was awesome, dude. And we just kept... The thing is, though, when you're on vacation and you're drinking like that sometimes, sometimes you don't eat. So we just kept going out to dinner. Lunch, not eating lunch. anything. We went to like several lunches. Yeah. Ordering a bunch of food and just looking at it and saying, may I please get another drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the day of 
everyone finding us and giving us shots. Oh, yeah. By the by fucking five o'clock, we had already taken like 11 shots. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, six drinks each. And we couldn't even use that golf cart anymore. No, we couldn't. We had to put it away. <laughs> we had to fucking lock that bitch up. We locked that bitch up. And then we, oh, we were like, we, our friend from home came and visited oh, yes. us yes our friend beta um he we grew up with him he moved down to florida to be like a deckhand yeah he was, he was like want to chill and we're like yeah of course come on and he was like uh, he, uh, they have this train down there the kids stop talking about it everybody's talking about this train you get you get to go on every seat's for first class they say i know and you get free drinks the bullet train i think they bullet call it. train i think so i think so and it goes from freaking miami, to miami to to all this, everybody check out the train i mean i guess there's never been a fucking train in florida so uh this is big news to them big news yeah we're big train girls over here so anyways he took the train to us mm -hmm. we acquire him and then we go we want to go get drinks food or whatever well he shows up and he's like you guys are Kind of drunk. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're like, well, you got to catch up to us. Yeah. But as he's trying to catch up to us, we're still going. Yeah. So it's like, it didn't equal out. No. And then we're just walking to all these different bars. And as we were walking, we see Dixie D'Amelio driving by in a golf cart. It was absolutely nuts. I was like, that's, hey, Dixie, like, what is up? I was like, there's no freaking way that's Dixie with her pixie. Yeah. It was Dixie <laughs> with a pixie. And we're like, dude, what the fuck? And so I text her. I'm like, what are you, the fuck are you doing here? Was, Aren't you supposed to be famous <laughs> <laughs> she just having a good day it was nice it seemed like she was having a vacation oh, it got to be normal yeah. and then uh she was like we'll, we'll meet you later so we kept going to maybe four bars me yeah. you and beta we didn't stop and then we made it back to tin roof mm -hmm. bottle service for the seas thank you tin roof all right guys quick commercial break so if you can face the intensity with takis the most intense snack ever so takis makes the best and most intense snacks like the takis waves kettles hot nuts takis sticks takis pops and takis rolls so for the people who still want the intensity without the spice you must try their intense nacho the first non-spicy Takis flavors. Insanely cheesy, but still super intense. These ones are my favorite. I'm not the biggest on spice, but these ones are so good. So this has been my go-to snack. Takis snacks are the perfect snack for any occasion. Road trips, gaming, watching TV, chilling when you have kidney stones, hanging out with friends, or listening to this podcast. So no matter what you're doing, having Takis snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. Try Takis today and face the intensity. Let's get back to the episode. Okay, so Dixie and Kate yes. meet me, you, and Beta. Yep. And we also acquired a couple of buddies are along the road that yeah just, we were just picking people up we we're just picking people up as, as we walked we said come on yeah, come they, with us they came with us <laughs> <laughs> and then uh the seas were on we texted dave and we, we called dave. texted dave yeah um so okay at this point you guys have to fucking realize we are blasted wasted like fucking <laughs> wicka 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 wacka wasted shots coming from every angle i'm taking all, all of them and i'm not we didn't even say gagging. down to no no we didn't say we didn't say no one time because we're on vacation so you say yes to everything it's kind of crazy that once you get a certain amount of drunk you just it just goes down you it's don't make the icky face pretty terrifying it's like what the hell what the what's that magic wizard sauce that's a body rejection yeah that it just doesn't work anymore once I you're know. drunk it well we kept also sense. saying to everyone wear pussies uh white tea shots only because everyone wanted to do tequila shots <laughs> I'm like, i can do the tequila i mean thank god imagine what would have happened i would have that helicopter would have actually found me yeah Dead. Okay. i know thank god all right so <laughs> we're at the fucking uh tin roof amazing bar i in love Del Rey, I, every single been. one they have is fantastic it's a great franchise they got it's great. yeah well yeah way better than rocco's tacos way better than hey rocco's actually you know, what you, you, that you know what i'm saying yeah it was our mistake it was a really cool waitress there Oh, she was super cool. She was awesome. Yes. Okay. I take everything I said back. Mm -hmm. um, tin Roof Blast. We had a fucking fun. Celtics lost. Celtics so we're, lost. We're texting Dave. We're yeah. Texting so Dave, all before this crazy shit. the Celtics started, we real so we were in our superstitious shit. We're bandwagons as fuck. Oh, of we course. watched the last game before that game. We only watch. We only watch playoffs. But we were just like so in on it. Yeah. Like well, we're Boston girls, so we root for the seas, man. Yeah. And we we're used to back when we back when Boston was the golden town and everyone was winning. That's what would happen. It would all of our teams would get to the playoffs. We'd be like, oh, we're in finals, and we'd watch it all, and we'd, we'd be into it, right. and we'd be really into it. Yeah, because uh, that's what you do when you're from Boston, man. Yeah, and and we care. We care. I mean, we just don't care to watch the full season because we know they're gonna make it usually. And they're gonna clip that, and we're fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> um, so, anyways, yeah, bandwagon on bandwagon, but we were also like very superstitious for some reason too. We were yeah. like, we gotta have our matching outfits. We can't gotta, bet. We what? Can't bet. Can't bet. Brianna wouldn't let me bet because every time we bet, we lose. Yes. So we were like, we can't bet. Can't bet. We gotta wear our matching outfits. And then she's about to start, and we see that Dave skipped the game, and he was in bed. And to us, with our superstition of the day, we were like, that's the final. Show. We also didn't even bother to like watch his stories. It was also too loud that he was deathly sick. Yeah, I know. And we're just yeah, like, I just oh, saw him in bed. The bed. I just <laughs> saw him in bed. I'm like, I'm like, well, I'll tell you what I said. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not actually. I'm You're not, not going to share it? I'm not. No, I, I I know what I said. Dave, get the fuck up. We need you right now, man. I'm rooting for the C's. We need you, man. We need more action from you. We need more action from you. And then he answered. He goes, what are you talking about, dude? I'm watching it. I'm just not posting. I go, dude, man, I need more action on Instagram. <laughs> more action on Instagram. And then Dixie like, called him right. five times on the phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dave's not a guy that ever will want to FaceTime. He makes no. that very apparent. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, Dix, call him. And like having Dave's number is a blessing. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't. I told him, block my number. I said, you could block it. You do not fucking overuse You don't that. fuck it up. You don't fuck, you don't it fuck up. that up. And I, I think I might have fucked it up. I said, I said, Dave, for the love of God and Boston, get up in capital <laughs> letters. Get up. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And for the Dave talking about on BFFs, God. I saw yeah. the friggin' clip. And he was like, Brianna and O'Malley, who I don't think have ever watched basketball a day in their lives, were fucking hitting me up. Like, sorry. Yeah. So, so okay, listen. What do, you, what do you expect? We're two idiots. Like, <laughs> you really we, came all the way around on this. Yeah. Because the next morning you were like. <laughs> no, because it was like, out. dude, he's going to fucking rip us apart on I BFFs. Think he thought it was kind of He think he thought it was funny. Yeah. But I was like, dude, he like. It's <laughs> crazy, though. Dude, but I mean, we're idiots. I mean, like, the more I just look back at life, I'm we're like, this is just too, just Tweedledee and Tweedledum. We are concrete and white bunnies. It's like, yeah, what do you want? that's fine. It's a fucking blast, man. That's why we don't post anything. <laughs> we're just having fun. We're gonna jump. So we, um, we had the friggin' blast. The Celtics lost. We were still blast. Mm-hmm. Tin Roof was great. Um, fucking, then we... Dixie starts popping bottles for... The heat. See, this is where I don't really remember much. Oh, yeah. This is where it gets dark. This is where I'm like, uh, like, I remember, I don't, I remember all the points where I'm like, I remember we're there. Mm -hmm. Then I remember we're walking to the beach. I don't understand why we didn't stay out at the bar if we were that hammered. We said, was it over? Was it, was everything over? I don't know, dude. Because this was a late night. Was it? I think. Bro, listen. You're asking the wrong guy. Dude, I didn't, I didn't look at my phone. I was having too much fun. One time, I don't have any answers. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, we go back and we're like, dude, we need to go. Okay, something about me is every single time I'm near an ocean and I'm drunk, I need to go skinny dipping in it. She's got it. Every, it's like it's like a mandatory thing in my brain. Yeah, well, I, I tried to do it's that. It's so freeing. <laughs> it's, it can be. Yeah. And then, But we went. So it's me, Dixie, Kate, uh you and beta and we're going and we're like hey beta you gotta fucking go i think i was so drunk i was screaming at him like over there you gotta go over there yeah. <laughs> you're not seeing me naked bait no we were not letting this man see us naked uh, i was like directing him with like this kind of a hand i I'm told like, him i was there. like go to the hotel bro <laughs> uh but yeah he left and he yeah. was gone and then me you kate and dixie go into the water and i just floated for a while yeah now when did you get out um after like 30 minutes, I was like, I just, I really don't like being naked. I just hate being naked. But it was so dark. I just hated it <laughs> so much. And then I went up to the shore at the, the beach, uh, whatever. I went up to the sands and I couldn't find my clothes and I was freaking out. And I'm like, wait, fuck my clothes. Beta had came back at the point. Uh-huh. And I was like, Beta, look away. I can't find my freaking top. And I was freaking out. And then once I finally found one piece of clothes, I turned around and I'm like, where did they go? Yeah. And Kate was like, oh my God. Where'd you couldn't go? see us? Couldn't. No, dude, you were gone. You were gone. You they had, It had taken you all the way down, but I thought it had taken you all the way out. That's a scary feeling. It was awful. Meanwhile, me and Dixie are just, we're just floating there. And we're all, I guess we're all the way down, but we're like, so we're like, dude, we look up and we're like, really? <laughs> they left us with all of our fucking stuff? These, I'm screaming your name. We're like, these bitches. That's crazy. That's why you must have been so far. Because usually the water takes the, the voice and the echo down. I was going to say, I can't imagine we couldn't hear you. Screaming your name. That's so crazy. Like, Kate was screaming. Dixie, I was screaming. Brie, we, we each had our girls. Yeah. And then, wait, how long do you think that was? I mean. It couldn't have been that long. It, it felt like forever. It probably dude. felt like forever. I don't, know what, I don't know what the time frame was on that. But, like, at one point... I was like, it like it hits you and you're like, holy shit, like she's dead. Yeah, that's she's scary. dead. Yeah. And so especially, I started, especially being <laughs> wasted, wasted, and I start scream crying your name, and I fucking cr- my face is wet, <sighs> like so fucking wet. At I'm one so point, sorry, I'm down in the sand and I'm like, Bree! Ah! and then I was like, no, this is wasted time. You cannot waste time. She's gone. Every minute counts. So I started you're running a up and down. Dude, I was running up and down the beach. I can't run for shit. I was <laughs> bay watching this shit down the beach. I'm like, Bree! Ah! and then um, the cops came. Because a passing buyer said, I'm going to call the police. I said, yeah, please do that. And I'm running around. And I'm pretty sure Kate is too, but I, could, I, I didn't care. I had to find you. Yeah. And it was fucking crazy. They had 
I go up to the, um, the, there's cops on the beach and then there's cops that, uh, that are on the street and I go up to the cops on the street cause the other cops were on the cruisers or whatever. And I go up to the cops on the street and I'm like, we got to find it guys. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I hate to say it. Like, I, I, I know you guys are doing your job, but you just stand in here. We all have to look for her. Oh, God. And they're like, we have a infrared jo- drone. We have a helicopter that's going around. Oh like, my God. we're going to find her. And I'm like, well, we gotta act fast. And then I ran away from them into the fucking thorns, down to the fucking... Dude, I couldn't even try and find a path to the beach. I had to run through the thorns. Oh, my God. Was, and then it fell into all the thorns. <laughs> and I'm like, Rihanna! And it was crazy. And then I'm... They, they, dude, and meanwhile, during all of this, me and Dixie are like, dude, I can't believe they left us. Why would they leave us here? They're so mean. <laughs> and, and you're naked. Are we gonna... But we're pre- yeah, we're pretty much naked. Yeah. I have sticky boobs on. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, uh... I went, so I'm running back and forth, and at one point, uh, the cops were so nonchalant. Yeah. Well, this is why also me and Dixie were like, we can't just go to the hotel where they are because we don't have clothes on. Yeah. Uh, sticky boobs, underwear, Dixie, the same situation. Yeah. We're like, we can't just walk. We have to go across the main road. Yeah. We have to go across the main road. Into the lobby. With no, the clo- with no clothes on. No clothes. <laughs> we can't even wear a bathing suit in our hotel. It says, put a shirt on. Yeah, dude. So we were like, we're just fucking stuck here until maybe they come back. <laughs> and then meanwhile, you're screaming running past the cops all of a sudden cops super nonchalant they're like listen we got a, we got a read on it says a boy and a girl oh god <laughs> and i was like fuck i think that i think that's i think it's that one. <laughs> they're like because oh, i heard it over the, the walkie talkie they're like uh we got we got read on a boy and a girl in a bush <laughs> at this point so this is our plan we're like all right we'll, we'll, we'll crawl through the path and we'll like say hey <laughs> oh you like creeps yeah yeah, that's literally a charge. Yeah, <laughs> crawl. <and> say, hey, <laughs> anybody there? Friends up there? Please wear our clothes. Out. <laughs> you got to wait for my child. And then they fucking pull up on quads with the flashlights on us, and we're like, ah, turn. And they go, "You, Brown and Dixie." And we're like, "Yeah, what's the what? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah?" And they're like, "Your friends think you're dead." And we're like, "What? <laughs> our friends are dicks. They left <laughs> us." Uh, it was I like, can't believe it's just too like. I just can't believe your head didn't go to. Oh my god, we. We're not where we were. No, because on the beach, it's just all the same. It does look all the same, yeah. It's just all, there's no landmarks. It's just the beach. And like every couple hundred feet, there's a there's lifeguard a, thing that looks exactly the exactly same as the, the one same. before. It. There's yeah. no numbers or anything. So we're like, oh, wow, that sucks. I just stole your clothes and dipped. Yeah. I was like, what? I thought it was, a, I, honestly, I thought it was a big prank to begin with. And I was That's, like, That's a terrible prank that I hate. Yeah. And um, But anyways, the, the guy was like, yeah. And we're like, what? And he's like, yeah, follow us. And we're like, what? So he like has us go in front of the fucking four wheeler, which the bright lights are on. So we're like, buddy, can we like go behind you? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. And they were so nice. Yeah, they were really nice. And they were like really understanding. They told us like this happens all the time. They told me it doesn't happen as much as you think. Oh, well, they should have told you that it happens all the time to make you feel better. Yeah, no, they didn't. Because that's, that's why I was like, are you, are you are you boys like even taking this serious? They're like, <laughs> I'm like, this, this, this happened all the time. Like you usually find them, right? And they're like, well, not. Not like as often as you think. I'm like, well, fuck, fuck, fucking shit, fuck. <laughs> um, but and then, then we were reunited with you. And then I saw you guys come in. And the, the cops never really assured me that it was going to be you guys at all. And I just took a took a leap of faith, grabbed your clothes. Yeah. I grabbed your clothes, not Dixie's. I thought Kate would help her out. Yeah. I don't know what happened with her. Well, that's what happened. So then we all, they like took our names and whatever. And then we just walked away. You just walked away. We said, I said, thanks, fellas. And yeah. We it was so crazy. They were like, all right. The- they were like, that. thanks, guys. And we we're like, all right. See ya. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. And then we went, yeah. And then we just went back to our room, walked back up. Yeah, that was crazy. It was crazy, dude. It was just, it was insane that it, the two different lives we were living that time. It was so nuts, and I, it was such a crazy fucking feeling that your best friend's dead. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to kill myself. That <sighs> stinks. I'm so and sorry you had to go through that, brother. I just, I couldn't get like it's, it's like one of those feelings that you can't. That you, you, you just need some time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that, it, your head tells you that that's what actually happened, yeah. even though you're standing right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. That's a reincarnation right I there. I mean, you know, it's two terrible feelings being naked in front of the police. Yeah. And, uh, making your friends dead. Making your friends dead. But it all <laughs> turned out everything was okay. Everything was great. Beta slept in my bed. <laughs> kind of a hilarious story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we still have Beta with us. And then we get back up and it's fucking, we're supposed to be leaving in the morning. Oh, yeah. And we're, like I said, wicka wicka wasted. Wicka wicka wasted. Wicka wicka wasted. So we go to bed, we wake up, 
I personally, I would thought I was just going to stay because I, I thought you were going to leave. And I was like, I have to stay. I started packing up. I'm like, you know what? If, if, cause you're such a Gemini, you could have changed your mind and be like, oh, we'll just go home. Uh, I was like, I, I was like, oh, she's packing. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I packed everything up and she said, dude, you're not even going to stay. I'm like, I'm totally going to stay. <laughs> and then we stayed and we just sat all day. Had a great day. Yeah. Just it, chilling. It was really hangover day. It was a really hangover day. We needed that extra day though. Did we totally go to the beach all day on the Celtics night? No, that was one of the in-between days. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just chilled on the beach one day. I actually did chill. Mm. No drinking, just chilling. That was the one chill day. Yeah. Um, and then we left and we came home and we were so excited for John Summit. Yeah. Yep. It was time for John Summit. Because she has these, she has Brianna plus four. Yep. Given by Johnny Boy himself. Yep. Ready to go, ready to roll. Um I'm still so upset about that. So fucking so we so I get home and I'm like, oh, I really don't fucking feel good. Like I felt so sick. I was like on fire. I had a hundred and three fever. I had these crazy pains in my back, and I'm like, ah. I was convinced it was food poisoning because I had food poisoning on like the last day yeah. of vacation. And I was just like, I'm uh, I'm just not doing well. This kind of sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just going to sleep it off. I'll be fine when I wake up. I wake up, totally just still felt so terrible. I'm like, I got to go to work. We'll be okay. And then I come back home after work and uh, I, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It felt like there was like someone just inside of me punching me. At where? Does, does my, it hurt? Ba- my back, my lower right back. And I'm on fire, but I'm freezing. So I'm like, dude, I don't know. Maybe I have the flu or something. Maybe I'm getting my period really bad. And then I'm like, once again, I'll just sleep it off. And then I wake up and uh, like my eyes shot open. And I have never felt a pain like this. In my, I would never wish this. I keep saying I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy, but I would. I want my enemy to suffer. Yeah. So it was the worst pain. I have this like fucking stabbing pain in my back. I crawl to the bathroom and start violently throwing up. I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. Have so you ever been that was in so the much fear pain, of I'm going to die. Have you ever been in so much pain that you've thrown up before? No. That's crazy. That's yeah. a crazy fucking pain. It's like in fucking sane. So I'm just throwing up and I'm like keeled over. I like literally like I'm in this weird position where it's like, oh my God, if I move, I'm going to die. The pain You're by yourself, right? By myself. And I'm like, the hospital's right there. I'm not calling an ambulance because I'm like, I don't want to pay for that fucking ambulance bill. That's I silly. I can only imagine how much my my bill's going to be anyways. In but New York, we walked to the hospital. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> Even in the excruciating pain. I was like, I'll call uh, I'll call Joey and because he knew how sick I was. And, and I was like, whatever, let's call him. So he hails a cab. He mm-hmm. leaves work. He was like, can we make a stop? <laughs> and I jump into the cab. The cab drops me off at the emergency room. So I get in and I'm screaming, crying. Like, I don't cry. Like, yeah. I, I can't even picture this. So brave when it comes to pain. And I'm brave. like, dude, I'm going to fucking die. It was so fucking painful. And the everyone in the ER, like, there was like 20 people ahead of me. And they were like, you need to go in now. <laughs> so they bring me in. And the doctors are so nice. And I'm like, scream crying. And I'm trying to tell them, like, what's going on while. But I'm like, <gasps> And like it was so fucking bad and then they were like i was like oh my god i have to go to the bathroom so bad what the fuck so i go to pee and it's just the it's full of blood the toilet's oh, full of blood i'm god. like oh my god I'm i don't dead. want to die like i don't want to fucking die they give me all this medicine they like shoot me up with an iv and three hours of excruciating pain finally like goes away and i'm like okay jesus i live after the piss uh, after just like the kidney stone was passing through me, mm-hmm. but it got lodged in my tube. So this is why it was like a problem. Like I okay. couldn't pass it. So I got a bunch of cat scans. I got like a bunch of test strands, ultrasounds. And I was like, yes. Why does it make your back hurt? Uh, it's, it was passing through my oh, organs. It goes like that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it my, works. The kidneys are like in, over yeah, here, which would hurt, but this was where it was passing through that's and it was scraping everything that was passing through. Um, so that happened and then they come back and they get my results and they're like yeah so you have a kidney stone lodged in your tube and i'm like fuck that means they're like that means you have to get surgery and i'm like dude i don't want surgery like anesthesia makes me so depressed also you have to like live with a stint from your urethra to your kidney for two weeks and i'm like i would just really rather not do that can Can we just like pee with that try to i don't know i'm still i don't understand any of this and then nonchalantly they're like oh yeah you have four others and you're left and i'm like what bro and they're the same size as the one that was stuck in me so i have to wait for all those ones to pass i'm going back 
this week to see if I have to get surgery or when I have to get surgery. But dude, and they kept saying, you're so brave. This is worse than childbirth. Like, that's this crazy. Is, so it's the equivalent to childbirth passing kidney stones, but there's no epidural. So you can't get anything to ease the pain. Why? Because there's nothing that can tap that part of your body. <sighs> so you just have to live through it. And all my comments on my videos were like, dude, I have four natural births and my kidney stones were worse. And I'm like, dude, okay, I'm not crazy. Jesus Christ. But in that, like after leaving that hospital and seeing all these people, it's, we take our health for granted, dude. Like at leaving it, I was like, oh my God, we are so lucky to be like healthy people after that. Like I was seeing people in chronic pain and I'm like, oh man, we just take our lives for granted. Yeah. Like experiencing that i was like oh my fucking god and i'm just especially like, in new york it's got to be like a really crowded emergency room i yeah, can only imagine it was insane and like the doctors were so awesome and nice but it was just like i don't know eye-opening to be like oh my god your health is important and you should treat your body nicely but after that i was like fuck and now i'm just on a bunch of medication i have to wait for four more fucking kidney stones that's fucking terrible so i'm just waiting in a state of ptsd and fear and so paranoia <laughs> Fuck. I'm just, so I have four more and we got to pass those. I don't know. Hopefully I could get surgery, but I don't know. It's just all a lose lose situation. Just, well, if anything, you learned a lesson. Never let pain just sit. Sit. Yeah. Sit. yeah. Like, Thank oh, I'll go tomorrow. Because I called, remember I called you the day before? I'm like, we're going to the, we're going to the hospital right now. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'll go tomorrow if I need to. Turns out I had to go to the you, ER. You went. I went. Thank God I went, man. Because at one point I was like, I don't know, maybe it's just cramps. Jesus you know, Christ. I, like I would have just died. <laughs> you are so brave. <laughs> um, but anyways, so back to the point where if we went on the van trip. Oh my God, yeah. We would have been in the middle of the desert. Dude. Driving this, driving the van when this happened. Grace doesn't have a license. I don't have a license. I would have been going 200 past the speed limit to go 200 miles to the next fucking hospital. Yeah. Get pulled over. Get arrested. Cry, get arrested. Leave you out to dry with kidney stones in the desert. In Reno. No, bro and fucking like, oh reno surgeons yeah oh my god they're all on morphine themselves yeah uh, <laughs> yeah. uh fucking dude so thank god the van the van company messages me and goes bruh thank god you canceled the trip i'm like dude yeah your facts <laughs> just that would have been rescheduled to the kidneys pass. in fucking sane so back to the point where my kidney stones pass whatever and it's john summit night yeah and i'm like dude maybe i could do it maybe i could do it I would have been a fucking fool to do that. Like, cause I'm still in pain. I'm just like chilling, but yeah. I'm not like dying. And I'm like, ah, oh, like, dude, this is like what we've been waiting for. Hey, it's all good. He always, he's going to come back. You well, know, that's what everyone was saying. Dude, they're like, dude, it's John Summit. He's literally has at concerts every day and he'll be back at Mirage this summer. And I'm like, all right, you're right. Yeah. But, we're right. but like, I was just like really excited. I mean, that's like total FOMO, especially when you have backstage pussies. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, we we're going to, it was just going to be so fun. It was going to be fun, but you know, the, your health comes first. Yeah. And that's one time I was proud of myself. I said, you know what? No. You did really good. I, it was really hard because, dude, I, that was 11.30. John Summit doesn't go until 1.30. I was like, dude, I could still go. Dude, I went, so in the, before I started drinking, I was like, I'm not going to even question her decision to not go. Mm -hmm. And then I started drinking. I'm like, so John Summit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to say it again. I'm not going to press her. I'm just, she's making a good decision. Yeah. I mean, that, that would have been like, you're so immature and like uh, just a fucking loser. You're just an idiot. You just go that you're just a loser. For like what? You just, like, and you can't even almost died. <laughs> like have fun. Cause you're anticipating all this pain. Yeah. And like, I can't drink and like, I can't, it was just would have been, you're just a, you're a fool. You're a freak, man. <laughs> yeah, you're like kind of a loser, you're kind of bro. Freaky for that. You're a rave slave for what, bro? Come on, grow up and go to bed. Cut your fucking slave cuffs but off. But I'm not gonna lie, there was a, there was like multiple moments where I was like, oh, I could go, and there was like plenty of time. Some of those DMs weren't helping either. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, or, me, or John Summit himself wasn't helping either. Yeah, he's like, wait, what did he say? He's like, dude, just get a wheelchair and go to the handicap section. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I will. <laughs> why, would, it. why would you say that? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really sad. He looked awesome. But like I said, hopefully he'll be back. And he'll be back. I think, you know what would even be crazier? What? Since we missed this one, we got to go see John Summy in Chicago. All right. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's, and then that's where that landed. So I was in bed all weekend and you had yourself a fun time. I, I had a lot of fun. I that's hate to say good. it. I, mean, I really did. I wanted to come over and bring you a treat. You said, don't bring me a treat. Yeah. And then one day I wanted to, I wanted to, I went out on Friday and then the next day I called you and... I was like, dude, I'm gonna, just, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna hang out with you. You go, no, dude, please said, just go out. I said, go out and live for the both of us. And and boy, I did. Yeah, boy, I did. I so on on Friday, I met this cool dude. Mm -hmm. His name's Murph. Okay. He's a DJ. Okay, he just played Coachella. Let's get it, Murph. And his buddy told me that he was having this um uh, uh day party day party at a rooftop. Darty, may you say? And so I sent it the next day to my buddies, and I said, uh, fellas, any interest? Oh, it's rooftop season, baby. It's rooftop season, mm -hmm. and 
boy, was it electric. I'm okay. so sorry, but this kid, dude, it's one week. I'll be this back. This kid rocks. Like he's his rock music, solid. His um, the song that you would know is food. For the soul oh, <laughs> nice it's a good one it's a good one good and one. he's electric when he like when he djs he'll like mouth it i saw peyton there peyton's peyton's our new intern let's get it peyton. welcome peyton to the freaking summer club peyton to the team <laughs> summer club team thank you um but it was it was packed jam-packed it, it was, was so packed there intern week no offense everyone's just getting to the city now hey let's go interns we were I, all there one time i mean we were all there one time but you could just tell that like there's they still have a smile on their face that's like genuine. Yeah, and they authentic. haven't been hurt yet. They haven't been hurt at all. It's, all, it's all shiny. Crippling drug problem yet that they have to go yep. through. You haven't had over. a dark winter yet, guys. <laughs> you haven't had a dark winter. Yep. You haven't <laughs> lost it. You haven't been to rock bottom. <laughs> you will get there. You will get there. But um, it's not gonna be at the gym saloon. It was uh it was good. It was it was good. Um what what am I I'm trying to think of all the You're things the that the day happened. party. The day party and then at one point I was like, I'm freaking starving. And You're so hungry. homeboy was over. Okay. So I was like, boys, we're going to go to Sauce. We went to Sauce, the pizza oh, place. Nice. It was perfect in between. Oh, perfect. Went and got pizza. And then I sat down and I look around and I'm like, I'm with seven dudes. Mm. You're and such a guy's girl. No, no, dude. That's it, what it was, this sounds like. I know, I know. And but your I, story sound, looked like that too, bro. Yeah, whatever. I was like, I just wanted to insert hot dog emoji. <laughs> fucking. Look how many guys I'm with. <laughs> like, dude, no, no, no. I said, on. I swear I have a dad. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Go for and, it. But um, they made the joke because they're all a bunch of light skin kids. Okay, and they were like, "Dude, we literally look like a Fenty beauty palette." <laughs> <laughs> There's so many shades of light skin; it was crazy. That's crazy. And uh, so then we went, we got pizza, and then we went. So it worked out perfectly. It's DL, DL, and then Sauce is on the same street. Oh my god! And you walk from Sauce to 82 Stanton, and then you walk from 82 Stanton to Make Believe. That's perfect. it. Was the perfect street. Oh my god! It's like a parade. little strip parade. It's like the best day you could ever it's have. It's a parade in summer city. city yeah. Dude, if you want to have a great day, do that. Yeah, plan it out All right four. there. Perfect. Yeah. It works so good. Uh, but yeah, it was great. What 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 night is this? Uh, this was Saturday. Okay. Um, so Saturday that was a lot of fun. Um, I got friggin' wasted. I don't do drugs anymore. It's awesome. Don't do drugs. I don't do bad drugs. I don't do coke. I don't do I coke know. anymore. It's, it's great. Just, it's just funny. But there was... I say the same thing. I don't do drugs. And then we just had a whole podcast about how hard we're tripping balls. Well, that's mushrooms. It's from the earth. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> I mean, I am concrete, so you can't tell me shit. <laughs> but um, there was. It felt really good though. Yeah. Like this, this was like one of my first times back in New York since I've stopped doing blow. Let's go. And um, there was all these dudes and like, dude, you want to blow down with us? And I was like, first of all. Now that I hear that, that sounds disgusting. Thank you. And I said, no, I quit. And they're like, oh, good for you. I'm like, yeah, damn straight. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> damn straight. Let's get it, bro. Uh, but that was Saturday. And then I woke up on our buddy's couch, as I do. Mm-hmm. And the next morning, we went and got brunch. Yes. And I was still in my last night's clothes. I have my... So I really... On Saturday, I really had it in my head that I was going to go to John Summit some, some way or somehow. Yeah. So I had my John Summit pants on okay. that I bought specifically to wear to that concert yeah. a month ago. Yeah. And I never made it, uh-huh. but uh, I woke up in my John Summit pants on our friend's couch. We went and got brunch, and it was, uh, it was one of those beautiful days. Beautiful day. It's one of those beautiful days yesterday. So um, the, the clouds kept coming in. Oh, no. But we realized every time we giggled, they would go away. The sun would come out. I love that. It was freaking hilarious. That's magic. It was awesome. And then I was like, boys, what about we go to Williamsburg Hotel, which is a rooftop, the most, Sunday the best vibes. Sunday you could ever have. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, why don't we take the boat? So we took the boat nice, over. Nice. It's a 10 minute walk from the boat That's to nice. there. We had so much fun. And it was a blast on the roof? I did a bunch of shrooms again. <laughs> and then you went to Little Mermaid. And yes. yes. So <laughs> first of all, there was these kids that came over wearing hoodies and sunglasses uh-huh. on, on the roof. And we're like, <laughs> me and Joey would go, we do not trust you guys. We don't trust we you guys for two seconds. Them? <laughs> and they said what and we go you literally look like a cop take your sunglasses off and they did oh they took God. their sunglasses I've off listen to them now <laughs> and they were like are we good now i'm like yeah we're good and they're like well we're going to, um we have this afters that john someone's gonna be at i'm like bullshit <laughs> and we just we called them on their bluff yeah because no he was, was literally in bed saying i'm it, having the first night off of my life on the story he was gone with the wind yeah. like he was out of he's out of commission oh, so they were trying to trick you into something bad yeah they were bad guys we knew it off the freaking rip yeah what the fuck <laughs> good intuition bitch thank you thank you <laughs> and then i was just uh we we're just freaking riding riding the mushrooms and then it was time to go home mm-hmm. and we all didn't want to go home we just stood on the block and we just kept saying what do we do we don't want to go to a bar but we really want Mexican food, but nothing's open. So what the hell do we do? And the we all we said, do? you know what? 
let's just all call it okay and when i'm on shrooms i really don't like being alone mm -hmm. on shrooms because it gets kind of scary and my room's really disgusting right now <laughs> <laughs> and so i'm walking home i'm like what am i gonna do i'm gonna maybe go on my roof and look at the moon <laughs> or something look at the empire state buildings and all in its glory that's beautiful. or i walk by amc <sighs> and i'm like winning in. holy cow that is the best fucking best case thing scenario that i've ever seen in my it life was perfect timing too, it was with the movie timing it was perfect timing dude, it had just about that's to the start universe aligning to you saying come see this movie it was dude i almost saw spider-man thank uh, god i didn't thank god because little mermaid on shrooms by yourself even is the coolest fucking th dude i couldn't i'm sitting there watching the movie like I cannot and believe it was in how 3D sick too. this is. Yeah, I accidentally bought 3D, but it made no, it even more better. sick. No, that's That's way better. Dude, when the ocean parts, I literally was, I caught myself, I was holding my breath. I was, I'm like, wait, I'm not actually under the ocean. And then I just laughed to myself. <laughs> it took me 10 minutes when I first sat down to, to get over the fact that I felt like a really big creep mm -hmm. alone in the movie theaters tripping. Ball people, sack. people go to the movies alone now. I know, but I just, I had that, we, the yeah. ocean didn't work. And I thought everyone was looking at me, judging me. Yeah. So, um, that was that, but it was, you got over it. It was freaking epic. Gia said she saw it recently. I saw it last night too. It, yeah, dude. Yeah. It, it was really, really incredible. Was it? Yeah. Even like, not on drugs? Was, uh, no, I was completely sober. All right. Nice. It was like, so, it was made for drugs for me personally. I understand that. Especially the, um, under the sea. Oh my God. Under, under the sea yeah. ripped. When I got home, I listened to it on my Bro, computer. wait, I listened to it on under my headphones before I went to bed too. I was like, <laughs> part of my world. So Halle Berry killed it. She Halle, Halle Bailey. Halle, Halle Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. Calling her Halle she's Berry. Slayed. She's like the quintessential Disney princess. Oh my God. She's so <clears> lovely so and cute. perfect. And yeah. her <sighs> voice is of God. And her voice Melissa is McCarthy is hilarious. Yeah, she was oh, great wow. too. <laughs> and I love Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian. I thought he was, was the best character. Up. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go see this. Dude, it yeah, was you have fucking to. awesome. Okay. It's not like the best movie ever because it's like Little Little Mermaid. Like you know yeah. what happens and stuff. Yeah. But it was like, kind of cool though to know what happens but like and they do like the same they time. do extra scenes and stuff. It's so good. It's really good. I do. Only thing I will say is Prince Eric was corny as hell. His solo song was a little cheesy. I was I had <laughs> tears coming down my eyes. Like, is anyone seeing how ridiculous <laughs> this is? He's a full he was hot. Like, he's really hot. Someone uh, said it was like um, Troy Bolton when he's I like, yeah, I can't stop. Yes, bet on it. Yeah, bet on it. Yeah, bet on it. It was so fucking awesome. But he's really, awesome. really handsome. I walked out of the movie theaters. I couldn't get the smile off my face. Oh, it's the best thing ever, I, man. I, I think I skipped home. I hope like you, a princess. I you probably swam home in the I sky. was like, oh, my new two feet. Yeah. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It was fucking awesome. I went to bed with a smile on my face, and I was like, oh, and then I bought, um, I bought Disney Plus, because I couldn't, I didn't want to, it was too late to ask my mom what the password was for a family Disney Plus, so oh, I just, true. I just bought it, and I was like, let's rail Disney movies, and I quickly fell asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was epic. It was fucking awesome. That I, is I, awesome. Even just thinking about it, it was fucking awesome. You <laughs> really, really love Little Mermaid. Dude, I don't know, man. It, like, was so perfect. <laughs> it was, like, so perfect. This Plus, was, was the best <laughs> night of your life. I so, it was. I was like, dude, I can't believe this is the best night of my life. I'm literally alone. <laughs> I hate That's being good. alone. That's no, good. Dude, shrooms are all, you, shrooms can make anything amazing. It did you make it seriously amazing. Seriously magical. amazing. It changed my life. You know what? It was so hilarious to me this morning. I saw your stitch uh, to fucking you going on shrooms and mm -hmm. then you stitch it to be like, this is the best day of my life. Yeah. And a year, uh, was it two? A year ago today, I did the same thing to see Batman and I went, I'm going to see Batman on shrooms and then I stitch it. That was the worst <laughs> thing in the whole world. And I was like, you did 40X. this is so opposite. That is well, so that's funny. Well, dark and scary and awful. It was a scary movie. <laughs> this is lovely. Under the sea. <laughs> I wish I could have go back and see Avatar on shrooms. That was cool. Oh, I wish. But I was, I got too high on and regular scary regular weed and i had to leave yeah <laughs> i guess I, it's just two different things i just but i live right there yeah it's right there it's uh, oh yeah that's epic fucking epic i would totally go see it again i was <laughs> oh but you can't see it not on shrooms again i guess no yeah Let's, i'll do shrooms again okay i have to wait till my stomach's fixed and then we can do that it was awesome i can't wait to experience that it was awesome because that smile's electric <laughs> dude i i couldn't believe it was my life I have you gone. seen the first spider-verse um no i spider-man was like my number one pick and then i was like i guess i could give little mermaid a try but i usually hate corny shit yeah but it was fucking awesome it was awesome <laughs> no those are the best live like animation like live animated movies are awesome i couldn't believe I, it I, I have 
I feel uh, about the live action. Oh, I love it. Like, I didn't like The Lion King. I thought it was really hard to watch because, like, none of the animals were, like, showing any emotion, you know? Like, oh, it kind of yeah, felt yeah. creepy to me. Mm-hmm. But I liked the live action Cinderella, and I liked the Beauty and the Beast. Like, I, I like prefer it more with people than, like, yeah. when they do. Like, with Moana, I'll be curious to, like, how they do, like, live action Moana. Are they going to do that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know. I just feel like... They're making a live action Lilo Stitch. Too. No way. Yeah, that too. I love Lilo and Stitch. Arch- Pumped. I love Lilo That's and a Shrooms Stitch. one we have to go see. Oh, fuck yeah. Lilo and Stitch is the best part of my childhood. Jesus Christ. I'm going to go get a Lilo and Stitch tattoo right now. Oh, fuck yeah. I love the guy that made the sandwiches. Oh, I yes. forget what his name was. That was he... the driver. Oh, my That was yes. the driver of Bubbles? The sh- yes. yes. He, Bubbles, yes. Oh, no. Bubbles was the big security guard. Oh, oh Bubbles. Oh, he was the security guard. Yeah, then the, the other guy. guy's yeah. the yellow guy that, like, you, 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 do you ever play that game on, like, Disney? That was my yeah. favorite game. Where you stack the sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. That was, I was just going to bring that up. That was the best game I've ever played. Yeah, that one and the Sweet Life Five. Hotel, Sweet, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Can you still play those? Because those are awesome. I think we've tried before. Really? On, because we got high and we couldn't get access. Damn it. Yeah, it's too bad. You're missing out. Days. I know. Maybe one day. But it has to be the same version. They can't re up that shit. No. No. So I'm glad you had the best day of your life. Oh, speaking of which. What? Um, this was one of my thoughts while I was smiling my ears off on bed. <laughs> on, bed. on bed. I was on bed. She wasn't in it. She was on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I'm on shroom so much. Pixar and DreamWorks go to war. Whose side are you picking? I need a I need a layout oh. of all Pixar movies and DreamWorks. Do you too. want me to read out stuff yeah. for you guys? Yeah. I'll look up Pixar movies and I'll look up DreamWorks. So so DreamWorks is more like Shrek. Mm-hmm. Um and then Pixar is like Disney. So DreamWorks is Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, Shrek, How to Train Your Dragon, Monsters vs. Aliens, and then Pixar, Pixar is wins. like Inside Out, Bugs Life, Wall-E, I mean, Finding Nemo, mile. Ratatouille. Yeah. That's I easy. Feel like Pixar definitely would win, right? Yes. Besides Kung Fu Panda. I see. Kung I, Fu Panda. That's where. That's where. That's where. No, that's where. I, that's where I disagree. Oh, you don't like Kung Fu Panda? Shrek. I mean, yeah. Uh, Shrek Two was the best one, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but it's not better than any of the. Is that the one Pixar where he goes ones. to her hometown? Yep. Okay. And um, there's karaoke at the but end. But like, so brave, right? Coco, <laughs> Cars. Yeah. But for what? DreamWorks for Pixar. This is Pixar. No, Pixar yeah. wins by miles. DreamWorks has funny Finding adult Dory. jokes within the cartoon though that are that make it like good dialogue but i just feel like dreamworks so does doesn't pixar, have though. enough that's true um to back it up like pixar has so many movies yeah. dreamworks has like a handful you know dreamworks has some bangers but they just can't do it like pixar does. Yeah, yeah 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 pixar's got they a have whole some other sleepers thing going on. but pixar definitely has some sleepers bangers. Yeah. and pixar's um animation is just like top tier can't get better than that mm-hmm. i freaking love animated movies dude do you like, like claymation movies hate i hate those I hate those have you guys seen boss baby yeah <laughs> i just Wait, watched it for I the first time it's about fucking Boston hilarious it's hilarious it's really it's funny so fucking funny it's got that bastard alec oh my god i love it but there's a lot of weird butt stuff in it really yeah, yeah he's like naked them. a lot and i'm like dude they do a lot of They're butt farts. stuff and i'm like <laughs> this is a pervert making this it's butt stuff yes. this is a baby dan schneider yeah oh, oh bad guy uh, but yeah, epic movie time. I guess I need to go to the movies now. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what, I'm that's gonna go see the new Spider Verse tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm go. so excited. Is Guardians of the Galaxy still out? I think so. You should see it. It's go so that. fucking oh, good. Ooh, I burp it. Okay, I'm throwing up in this bitch. Can you go to the movies? I can go to the movies. I just can't do any substances. You want to go to the movies tonight? Yeah, I could smoke. Weed. Just let's just go sober. Okay. But I like smoking weed and eating popcorn. Right, that's that's my favorite time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and some bunch crunch and a slurpee. Oh, that's oh, it. But I can't do all that stuff. That's going to fuck your tummy up. Yeah. That's okay. I'll go to the movies. Are you on a new path of journey to excellence health-wise? Yeah, I am. Good for you. Thank God. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Mm-hmm. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. I keep telling myself, Sam, and then like this weekend I ate, oh my God, like buffalo chicken wings, Just French onion wait to get soup. Kidney stones. Like, it's a little shocky into reality. I don't want to. My brother got kidney stones and I would never, uh-uh. what, what did you, didn't you say like I would never wish it on my worst enemy? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I would. understand that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the hereditary. So The uh, movie? Uh, that's a bad movie. <laughs> I've never seen it. It's what? like, oh, it's fine. It's, it's crazy. Like, Everyone says they love it. It's so, or they hate it. It's just the head falls off and it's, whoa, and then there's naked witches in a cloak. And it's like, Spoiler weird. alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 years old. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just like icky and it's I just whack. It. Yeah, it's whack as fuck. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. Hereditary in the sense of your liver king. Yeah. All, everyone in my family has had kidney stones, so they've been oh, passed really? down to Brianna. That's how it goes in my family with gallbladders. We were just talking about that. That's oh. why I thought your gallbladder was ready to go. That I thought that was it too, because it was the pain in the back. Yeah, and that's like um, 
I think about this age. It's like an age thing. Yeah. That's like a whole nightmare getting your gallbladder removed. And then you just have like a nightmare of fucking health issues after. So I was like literally <sighs> praying it wasn't that. Mm. Uh, but, you know, I have kidney problems for the rest of my life. But that's lit. It's fine. Is Everyone's it for everything? Battles and to fight battles and I'll fight it. You are um, so strong, brave warrior. Um, yeah. It's like a, I'll have kidney stones all the time now. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like once you get it, once you're like way more. It's like a UTI. Like, like you're way more susceptible. Like, yeah. 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 So I'm just damn. Fuck, I'm sorry, Bree. I'm sorry. It's all right. It should happen. You live and you learn. At least I'm alive. Are any of you guys in school for medicine stuff? Medicine <laughs> stuff. Medicine stuff. I don't medic and for medical stuff. Figure out the stones so my girl doesn't have to feel like this ever again. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Please, for the love of God, she has all the answers. We can't let her go. This <laughs> is our amazing recap of our amazing times. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, and we have. Um, you're going to be passing kidney stones and I'm sorry about that, but mm-hmm. I'm going to be at GovBall this weekend, all three days at the pirate water shop and yes. it's going to be electric and I hate to say it. No, oh, it's going to be electric. I might show up. Oh uh, yeah. On Friday, maybe. Yeah. On Friday, maybe. All right, cool. I'll be there. Hell I mean, yeah. I'm just saying that, but I'll try to go. <laughs> I've got to take care of my kidneys first. Yeah, absolutely. Health yeah. is first. Yeah. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. And pirate water second. But Grace will be there all three days. So go say hi to her. Absolutely. I mm-hmm. will be there. Rocking out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Headbanging to Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. Yes, and that's going to go on my playlist of summer, summer shit. shit. What, is, how, what is it again? Um, shit, it's summer shit. It's summer sh- silly summer shit. Silly summer shit. Silly summer shit. <laughs> silly summer shit. <laughs> Let's get it. Um, yeah, so check out Grace at the shop. <laughs> and uh, I will be there. <laughs> um, we also don't have a Thursday episode this week. Mm-mm. Yeah. So we're also feeling it out. Like, how do you guys feel about Thursday episodes? They're sold for the rest of the year, so it doesn't matter. No. No? Okay. Yeah. How do you guys feel about Thursday episodes? Because I know, like, sometimes maybe we just don't have, like, enough. I know you guys like to hear about our stories and all that. And, like, it feels sometimes forced to do a Thursday episode. We don't want to give you too much stuff where you get sick of us. But if you guys love the Thursday episodes, we could keep them. It's more so, like, what do you guys want? Because, yeah. like, we don't mind doing them. We love doing the pod. Love but it. we don't want to oversaturate it. And we also don't want, like, if Thursday episodes suck to you guys, and we don't want to keep doing them. We could always do something else. Yeah. On so uh, let us know, motherfuckers and uh we'll we'll get back to you soon about that but we, about, do, but we don't have a thursday episode this week and the thing about thursday episodes we only have two days in between yeah. those two episodes so it's, it's tough to do you know 48 hours of content you know yeah yeah, yeah. so just let us know how you feeling um but yeah we'll talk to you guys next tuesday because there's no thursday episode this week and we'll have a lot to talk about and thanks for dancing through life with us yeah and keep oh. uh keep uh holding on to your best friend that's, that's my, my best, best friend, friend. <laughs> okay perfect